dark crime drama The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo was produced in December 2011 by Columbia Pictures. With an 18 certificate and a running time of 2 hours and 38 minutes. The screenplay was written by Stephen Zalian from the novel by Stieg Larsson. The movie was directed by David Fincher. Its total budget was around $90 million and it made more than $230 million worldwide. Disgraced financial reporter Michael Blomqvist finds a chance to redeem his honour after being hired by wealthy Swedish industrialist Henrik Wanger to solve the 40-year-old murder of Wanger's niece, Harriet. Wanger believes that Harriet was killed by a member of his own family. Eventually joining Blomqvist on his dangerous quest for the truth is Elizabeth Salander, an unusual but ingenious investigator whose fragile trust is not easily won. Spanish actress Ali Jova was born in 1967 and played the small part of Martin's friend Liv. Having made her movie debut as Mercury in Blade, Ali has also appeared in A Prominent Patient and now lives in France. Born in 1929, Christopher Plummer played wealthy industrialist Henrik Wanger, who asked Blomqvist to investigate his family. Legendary actor Plummer enjoyed a career of more than five decades, starring in such as The Insider, Beginners, and All the Money in the World, but died in 2021 after a fall. Daniel Craig was born in 1968 and played main protagonist and disgraced journalist Michael Blomqvist. Of course, everyone knows of Craig's exploits as James Bond, but he has also starred in Layer Cake, Tomb Raider, and Munich. Now, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo is one of those movies where you have one actor to play the young version of a character, and another to play them when they are older. David Densick was born in 1974 and played the young version of Detective Gustav Morel. Densick has also worked on Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, McMafia, and Chernobyl. Born in 1943, Donald Sumter played the older version of Detective Gustav Morel. Englishman Sumter is also known for The Constant Gardener, Eastern Promises, and In the Heart of the Sea. Elodie Young was born in 1981 and played Lisbeth's occasional lover, Miriam Wu. Elodie has also appeared in The Hitman's Bodyguard, Gods of Egypt, and TV show Daredevil. Born in 1965, Embeth Davids played Michael's sister, lawyer Annika Giannini. Embeth has also starred in Matilda, Bicentennial Man and Europa Report. Geraldine James was born in 1950 and played the part of Cecilia Vanger. Geraldine has appeared in Sherlock Holmes, Alice in Wonderland and Calendar Girls. Born in 1972, Goen Vishnik played Elizabeth Boss and head of Milton Security Dragan Arminsky. Vishnik is also known for Beginners, Elektra, and as Luke Kovac in the TV series ER. Gustav Hammerstein was born in 1967 and played the young Harold Wanger. Hammerstein is best known for his work in his homeland of Sweden, but he did appear in Sasha Baron Cohen's Bruno. Born in 1979, Joel Kinnaman played the flamboyant co-owner of Millennium magazine, Krista Malm. Kinnaman has also recently starred in Robocop, Suicide Squad and TV show The Killing. Jolie Richardson was born in 1965 and played Anita Vanger, who sent the press flowers to Henrik every year. English actress Jolie has starred in 101 Dalmatians, Event Horizon and The Patriot. Born in 1991, 
Josephine Asplund played Michael's daughter Penilla Blomqvist, who spots the Bible references. Internationally, Josephine is best known as Astrid on the History Channel's Vikings. Julian Zanz was born in 1958 and played the part of the young Henrik Wanger. Known as a horror specialist, Sands has appeared in Warlock, Arachnophobia and Boxing Helena. Born in 1941, seasoned British actor Martin Jarvis played Harold's son Burger Wanger. Jarvis has appeared in movies as diverse as Batman Arkham Origins, Titanic and Wreck-It Ralph. Moa Garpendel plays the young version of Harriet Wanger, the mostly unseen focus of the story. In 2020, Moa also played the part of Anelli in the movie Pool. Per Merberg was born in 1933 and played the spooky 90-year-old Nazi Harold Wanger, who abused his children. A well-known star in his home country of Sweden, Merberg has also appeared in Sunday's Children and Chess. Born in 1966, Robin Wright played Blomqvist's business partner and occasional lover, Erica Berger. Best known for playing Jenny Curran in Forrest Gump, Robin has also starred in The Princess Bride and TV series House of Cards. Rooney Mara was born in 1985 and played the severely abused computer hacker Lisbeth Salander. Having made her screen debut in the slasher film Urban Legends Bloody Mary, Rooney has also appeared in The Social Network and Carol. Born in 1951, Stellan Skarsgård played the murdering CEO of Vanger Industries, Martin Vanger. Veteran Swedish actor Skarsgård has also starred in The Hunt for Red October, Mamma Mia and Goodwill Hunting. Stephen Burkoff was born in 1937 and played head legal counsel for Vanger Industries, Dirk Frode. Highly acclaimed English actor Burkhoff has also starred in A Clockwork Orange, Octopussy and Beverly Hills Cop. Born in 1978, Tony Way played Salander's hacker friend Plague. Way has also appeared in Edge of Tomorrow, The Riot Club and High Rise. Ulf Freiburg was born in 1962 and played dodgy businessman Hans Erik Wennerstrom who brought the libel suit against Blomqvist. Another actor better known in his home country of Sweden, Freiburg has also appeared in Evil and Death of a Pilgrim. Born in 1964, Jorik van Wageningen played Lisbeth's legal guardian, Nils Berman, who sexually abuses her. Dutch actor Jorik has also appeared in The Way and The New World. Born 